everyone, my name is Jess and today I'm going to share with you my top five tools if you want to spruce up your CV and just create a brand new template that is super easy to use. I'm going to share with you my top five. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot. And you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so you are here because you are updating your CV, whether you're getting a new job, whether it's an internal shift, whatever that might be, I am happy you are here. And I'm going to share with you my screen and I'm going to walk you through five tools that are super easy to use and just some tips and tricks around those tools. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, so let's go. Okay, so we'll start with number one would be Cake Resume. So you basically go to cakeresume.com in English. They have many different languages that you can use, and you can say, create my resume now. So you do need to log in. You can create a quick login. I will do so right now. It's gonna block that so that you can't see it. Now I am being redirected. All right, it's very easy to use. So you're gonna to wanna to click Job Seeker. You can either upload your current resume, upload your LinkedIn profile, and it will really guide you through uh, step by step of how to add each uh, job experience, education, and skills. So I'm going to pick this one. I'm not going to upload my resume. I'm going to skip that for now. I'm not going to upload my LinkedIn. I'll also skip that for now. And I just want to show you how easy it is to fill everything out. And you can click next. You put your job experience there. You can, I'll answer that later. Your education, what skills that you have and your intro. I would say your intro is very important. It gives really an executive summary of what the whole CV is about. And you can put job preferences and all of that. Now, this is one, I prefer using a different tool, but this is very handy for certain cases. Now on to the next is Zeti. I think I'm pronouncing it right. So you can try the resume builder I believe there's going to be a certain cost to this one, but you can try the resume builder once it loads. Again, they don't have as nice templates as the other ones, but they're basic, right? All you do need is a basic template to use. Um, I, I, like, uh, I like a little color or black. So you can choose the template. Again, very similar to Cake Resume, you can either create a a new resume or upload from a resume that you already have. I'm gonna click create new. And they want you to put in all the details and it's so easy. Tick. Montreal. And then you put your phone number in, etc., etc. And it's really, really easy. You can preview. And it's going to, again, walk you through all the steps. Now, another one that I've been using in the past is Visual CV. So very similar, you do need to create a login. I have paid for this before in the past. It was about $20 a month. I only needed it one time, right? You only need one CV unless you're updating it frequently. You can, again, choose from 30 different resume templates. There's samples of how to create a resume, uh, different skills that they're going to suggest, uh, as well as just the, the standard resume builder. So when you get started, it's very similar. You're going to enter in your information, log in, pick a template and go from there. Another way that is free as long as you have Microsoft Word is Microsoft 365. So look at all the templates. All you have to do is either go on the create.microsoft.com uh, website and you will pick your template that you like to use. Again, if you're in tech sales, I would not go super fancy unless you're a designer or in marketing, maybe you wanna get fancy, but I find it's just distracting. I like a very clear resume uh, clear font and the reason why these template tools are so good 
is they know that. They know hiring managers want to see something clear and, and they don't wanna see a bunch of distractions. So pick a template that works for your industry. Now, let me choose one here. I'll just pick, let's see. I like this one. So you're gonna click Customize in Word and you can either download social media marketing resume. So they give you the example. Uh, you're, you're going to download. It will download there at the bottom. I'm going to open it up here. As long as you have Microsoft Word, it's going to open up. Just taking a second here. And there we go. I really like this option, especially if you are a Word user. It's very simple to use, very simple to fill out. I think the challenge here is if you want to move around some things, it's not as easy as the resume builders, but again, it's free. I love, I love Word and I love the platform. So that is another option. And lastly, I'm gonna show you one other one that I absolutely love to use, which is Canva. I do think it's the easiest. I think you can move around things super, uh, super quick and easy. Um, and it even shows you step by step. So if you go to this link, canva.com slash create slash resumes, it will show you exactly the steps on how to make a resume. I could walk you through it, but I think Canva being Canva has way better video than I could ever make. And then you're going to create a resume. And again, we're going to sign in. and you can create your own resume there. So the options are here on the left. Again, very basic. I wouldn't go too fancy. This is nice. This is nice because you can fill in all the details here and your skills. This is actually very similar to my current resume. And again, really easy to use. You can make this larger smaller, same as this font. There's so many different settings here. I really strongly suggest that you watch the video, but again, this would be my number one choice. I love Canva for anything, especially resumes. Look on the left here, it looks like they even have a cover letter and other features. And then when you're ready, you can either share or download it and save it into Canva onto your tool. So those would be my top five resume building tools. One other bonus tip would be Grammar Check. So I use Grammarly. I have been using this tool maybe for three, four years. It is a great tool. There's nothing worse than getting a resume with spelling mistakes, especially if your job requires you to communicate very frequently. Just check your spelling mistakes. This is really a presentation of who you are and you don't wanna be making some silly errors on your resume. So if you like these types of videos about career and things like that, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next Monday. Take care.